For nearly 77,000 COVID cases in just one day. There's the number. Florida just set a new record, and that's how many cases we reported for yesterday. That beats the previous record set back on December 31st by just about 1,000 cases, Luann. And also developing tonight, John, two COVID testing sites shut down in Seminole County. The sites include the Altamont Springs Sunrail Station and the Seminole County Museum. Fox 35's Connor Hansen joins us live from the museum site tonight. And Connor, people with appointments got an urgent text message this afternoon. That's right, and we've seen them turning some people away too. They posted a sign here letting people know they're closed. Seminole County Emergency Management tells us it's because of staffing issues at the labs they send their tests to, apparently dealing with lots of sick calls. And on top of all of that, new confusion over who should be showing up to these testing sites in the first place after we got new guidance from the state. The line stretching almost a mile here at Barnett Park. Because my wife just called me. She told me she tested positive. Yeah, of course she was. So I figured, well, might as well come here and get tested. The state of Florida now changing its guidance, telling people they don't need to come to a line like this unless they have symptoms and fall in a high risk category. It does not make sense to be running around with swabs testing people who are completely healthy. But that contradicts the CDC's guidance that says you should get tested if you've been exposed. Is this all pretty confusing? It is. It, yeah. it is. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, one day they tell you everything's fine, the next day they tell you something's wrong. You know, you don't know what to believe anymore. It, it is a bit frustrating, uh, the lack of consistency um, and how at times, you, you know, uh, the, the guidance and the guidelines can just change all of a sudden without much uh, reasoning or explanation. So that, that always creates a problem when you have uh, when you have incoherent messaging. Dr. Thomas Haladish from the University of Florida calls the sudden change by the state short sighted. The COVID researcher points to asymptomatic people who are around others who are high risk. He says it can also cause problems for people like him who are trying to track the virus. When you change how testing works in the middle of an epidemic wave, it's going to change how that wave looks. And so if we see a change in the trajectory, maybe it stops growing so quickly. Is that real? The sign here at the Sanford location says they'll be back open at 8 a.m. tomorrow. It's unclear when that Altamont location will reopen. In Seminole County, Connor Hansen, Fox 35 News. Connor, thank you. Well, if you have been to any of these COVID testing sites in Orange County, you have probably noticed that the demand for testing has not gone down. Nearly every day, these sites have all hit capacity. Now Orlando is trying to help by opening up a new site at Camping World Stadium. Fox 35's Nestor Mato has the details. We're seeing a substantial demand for testing. The sites that the county has opened up has miles long lines of people waiting to get tested. As people in Central Florida still scramble to find COVID-19 tests, the city of Orlando is opening a new testing site at Camping World Stadium. Sky Fox flew over the area as crews set up tents before it opens on Monday. We know that we have a high rate of positive tests. It, last time I saw it was close to 40%. Mayor Buddy Dyer says the city partnered with CDR McGuire, a firm that provides medical services to get more people checked as Omicron surges. It's at no cost, it's free to the residents and it's no cost to the city as well. CDR McGuire is getting reimbursed either by the government or in some cases insurance. The site's working hours are 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. or until capacity is reached. Starting Monday, it will open seven days a week until further notice. The staff will offer rapid antigen and PCR tests. We all thought we were through this, but we really knew that as the winter time came, we were likely to get another surge here. Testing is free and drive through only. No appointment is needed, but everyone is encouraged to fill out forms online to speed up the process in person. To find the link, go to our website, fox35orlando.com. Nestor Mato, Fox 35 News. And a new testing site is also opening in Volusia County. Sky Fox flying above the fairgrounds in Deland today. That site opens on Monday, but you will need an appointment. The registration portal opens Sunday at noon.